my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm doing five looks one palette with the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice. You will have seen all the looks prior to commencing the video. I don't know if that's like totally taboo but I thought if you've never been here before it's a good way to see what sort of looks you're going to be getting and if it's worth you sticking around. Uh, let me know if you prefer a surprise or if you'd like seeing a quick little snippet at the beginning. So this is my first time attempting to film five looks one palette. I've done a few three looks one palette but five looks definitely got really long. I usually film me doing both eyes so you'll see in the video me cutting out where I, and sticking to just doing one eye. For one of the shades this didn't make sense and I included doing both eyes because you could really see what was going on. I really hope you stick around. If you like what I came up with I'd love it if you subscribed, like the video, comment your thoughts down below. A lot of ways I'm still learning with makeup and there's definitely a lot of things that can still be improved. I'd love any of your thoughts that you have about any of the looks. And there's definitely the occasional mistake that you'll see. I hope you won't judge too harshly and I just really love making videos for you and sharing them with the world and YouTube and I love talking to you in the comments. Unfortunately I also had some technical difficulties with this video and I lost one of the looks so look one is actually technically look five but I hope you don't mind. Also look one heavily inspired by Angela Nyquist and look number three inspired by Annette's makeup corner. I'll put them down below. All of my makeup that I'm wearing in each look you will see listed in the description bar. I on occasion do mention what mascara and liner I'm wearing and occasionally brow product solely because I think that's kind of relevant if you're interested but the rest of the products are down there. You also notice that I'm heavily obsessed with the Urban Decay Asphyxia Liner. It's just beautiful. What can I say? <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoy it. I hope you stick around. Let me know what, what you think of all the looks. Thank you so much. All right, hello and welcome to look number one. I've actually lost the original look number one. So technically this is look number five or six or seven. But anyway, today I'm gonna do the beginning of five looks, one palette with the gingerbread spice. And we are gonna go in with the NARS Tinted Primer as my primer today. I've already done my base, list of products will be below. With Gumdrop in the crease, which, yes, is a favourite one. I'm using a crown brush and it's unlabeled. And then getting a smaller brush, I'm going to go in with a figgy pudding. to the inner corner area as well and sort of maybe do like a halo effect All right, and then going back with the original brush it still has gumdrop on it I'm just gonna blend it uh, that's because well, I like pink better to be honest so I wanted figgy pudding to darken up the outer edges and the inner crease. But I maybe went a bit too hard. And then going underneath the eye, I'm going to use my Jessup 226 smudge brush. And we are going to put gumdrop. And then using a clean blending brush, I'm just going to bring it all over here. I'm going to dip into gum drop and just lighten this area up. And then I just saw Angelica Nyquist do this on her channel. 
but using a bone shade. So I'm going to looking at my cookie and helping to blend out the top bit. And then using a flat brush, I'm going to go in with Warm and Toasty. Alright, and then going in with, well it's going to be Spark Technical. I'm sorry, this is the 230 from Jessup. And then I thought I might just also put a little bit of black eggnog up below my brow. I don't mind doing highlighter in the brow, I just always forget to do it. Alright, so I'm just going to put on mascara and all that jazz and I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back. And this is my final look for look number one. I'll just break in. Alright, so we're back for the wear test. I think we're about eight hours. So let's see how these went. The vibrancy is gone, but it still looks quite, quite do. Not bad, really. Some loss there and transfer up. And on this side, vibrancy gone. Ooh, lots more lid loss. Wow, that whole part. Um, mascara is still going well. But yeah, compared to what it was, much different. And I'm just gonna, yeah, you can see how much vibrancy I've lost. So, still, I mean, Oh, I like the first. So, yeah, this is how it looks after this period of time. Maybe it would have done better with glitter glue. Uh, not bad. Hello, hello. Welcome to look number two. I put the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer on both eyes, and everything else that's on my face will be listed below. I've played with my focus today, and we're going to see how this looks with an eye look. Bring you in. So, I'm going to set this primer with powdered sugar. To me this primer just really needs to be set. I don't like not setting it. Because it starts creasing straight away. Do we need better lighting? I look quite pale. There we go. I mean I am pale. I shouldn't be surprised but you know. I'm gonna go in with spice is nice. And we're just gonna lightly, lightly apply this A little dab 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 motions mm, what a shade I don't even know if you can see how beautiful it's being Beautiful. All right, let's go in with. I feel like I just want some figgy pudding to deepen up that outer crease. I'm gonna go in with a nice tiny wee brush. using this today. Morphe, the Morphe palette just took me out of it. I'll link that video if you haven't seen it yet. And I'm really eyeing off Spiced Around. Let's try it without any spritzing. Oh. Look at that. Oh. 
I'm so happy right now. Alright, I just need to, I'm just going to spritz it because I want a little bit more pizzazz than this is giving me. Why is yours? I forgot to do my brows. I have to do them in a minute. Beautiful. Alright, well, let's just chuck something in the inner corner. Well, seems silly not to go for spike dig nog. Cool. Alright, let's just wipe that powder away from underneath my eyes. And let's put something below my eyes. I'm gonna go in with, I feel like I'm gonna go, the spice is nice again. I quite like this, I just like this shadow. All right, and then with the same brush, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of figgy pudding. Just sort of replenish it in its little spot there. Alright, so I'm just gonna go and curl my lashes, do my brows, uh, apply mascara, and I'll come back and show you the final look. Um, I have put the NARS tinted primer on and the Hourglass Caution mascara, but they don't agree, so don't judge it off that. The benefit of precisely brow on my brows on the Fenty Fly Liner. And, are you proud of me? I straightened my hair. Alright, uh, it is 11pm. I did my face at 8.30am this morning. So we're looking at 14 and a half hours wear, I think. So, this is the full face. I haven't touched anything up. Except I did change my lip and then that's worn off. Let's bring you in. We're here for the eyeshadow. Ooh. Oh, this held up pretty well. There's a little bit of loss there, but nothing too shabby. This eye, wow. I mean, there's transfer, but I think this is still an acceptable eye look. impressed and this was the shadow insurance cool. anyway, I'll see you for look number three hello welcome to a look number three I found my iMac painterly pot eyeshadow so let's bring you in and see where today's look goes so I'm gonna go in with gum straight. I'm going to use the same brush I've got like this one. I'm just going to wipe it off on the colour switcher in between. I'm going to go in with <laughs> look at my cookie. Alright, so using the same brush again. And what I'm trying to do here is to create a gradient. I'm shadows in my crease. I'm going in with Figgy pudding, and this is going out here. Bringing footy pudding just down in the outer corner. And just trying to make that like a straightish line. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention I haven't set my primer today. Oh, I was just giving it a whirl. Alright, and 
And then I just want to use Gumdrop, which is our bright pink, to try and tie it all in a bit. And just bring this down and up. Alright, so I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush and just try and neaten this up a little bit. It's funny how I've done a better job on this side than the other, but I will. Mark this on. Now I'm going to go in and cut the crease. I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow base in white to achieve this. So I'm going to put Hot Toddy as my middle shade. on this side so let's just bring this down to match that I'm gonna put a warm and toasty in my inner corner and hopefully because that pink has that gold duochrome it's gonna look cool it might not um, and then let's put some finishing touches on so, it's like MAC. My MAC 214 shader brush, pre the synthetic decision. And I'm going to use Figgy Pudding, I think, just using that nice dark colour. So, I just wanted to finish up the look I've put on. The NYX Vivid Brights in what color is this? Vivid Halo. I'm not the best at eyeliner, so they're definitely uneven, but you know, it's kind of a fun look. I've got Caution Mascara on from Hourglass for my sample, and I've put the Spixia in my waterline. So let's I'll bring you in. You can have a look, see what you think. Think of this look and I'll be back for another one. Alright, I'm just popping in for a little check-in. I didn't close the window, I'm sorry. But let's have a look. It's been um this long. Let's bring you in. Whoa. That's pretty bad. Oh my god. This one's better, uh, but yeah, can you see what's going on? That's so bad. Oh, hilarious. Anyway, I'm going to do like a control one next. I've just been curious to do it. Next we'll have no primer. So it is the same day as look number three. Uh, you've just seen my wear test. I've just topped up my face with Too Faced concealer some of the plotting powder and I fixed my brow a little bit so this I think will be my look with no primer which I haven't done in a long time so I was just curious to see what happens and I thought for look number four I've actually lost look number one currently I'm not sure where it is hopefully I find it or I'll be filming look number one a different time what else can we do with this palette I wonder I'm going to go in with powdered sugar. So, I don't know where this looks going to go. And I'm just going to pat this everywhere. Just because I get really oily eyelids. And I want to dry them out. Oh, this one smells really nice. Let's do a real basic look. So, I'm going in with. Sure. Spice is nice. Mm. 
Let's put O Snap, which is a shimmery brow, in the outer corner. Because uh, I'm just curious. Oh, there is nothing for this to grab to. If I go under the finger. There we are. Alright, this is just going to be a finger look. I'm going to put Bake It To You and Make It on the centre. This one here. Let's put O oh, Snap. Try and get that in there. I think O oh, Snap just isn't a shade for the, the fun. So I'm going to put Bake It To You and Make It. And then we just need to smoke out the bottom line a little bit. Let's go in with this is nice. Voila, and this is look number four. <sighs> just nice brown look. Oh mascara. God, it's not finished yet. I'll be back in a sec. Alright, I've just finished. I put asphyxia on my waterline and bad gang as the mascara. So, this is the look. What do you think? Alright, it's not been that long, but I really need to clean my face. Mm. Oh, I put liner on too, by the way. So, holding up really well. Yeah, this guy's a while, isn't it? Anyway, I'm semi impressed. Maybe I'll try another new primer go. Alright, thanks. I'll be back with look five. Alright, hello. This should be look four. So, let's bring you in. So, going in with a gingerbread. That's going to be today's pre shade. So this brush is too big, so I've just decided to go to a, a clean, smaller brush. So dipping into gingerbread, and I'm just going to use this to lighten this up a bit more. Alright, and then I'm going to try and out cutting the crease on oh, today's primer. No, don't plan. It's like 5 30 at night, so I don't think I'll be back for a wear test. We are going to pack gumdrop one. NARS printed tinted primer today because I just wanted not so much a heavy concealer as the base for this and more what it would look like if I was just doing it straight on primer. Alright and then this is the shade that I'm the most wary of and it is Frostbite Me. So if you can see it is more of a chunkier formula than the other ones 
So I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna go with my finger. I feel like it's a glitter glue shade because you can see it's pretty much just loose glitter. Kind of lightly tapped in. And on the finger. There's a lot of fallout for this shade. to a brush just because I'm causing it to fall out a lot more. I actually thought the shade was going to be a lot less opaque. Let me just try and get rid of some of that fallout. Oh no. I just blended it into my skin so well. This is fun. So I'm going to use my brush again for this side. Um, let's spritz it this time. I don't think that made it any easier. And so you can see how different this was in picking it up on without my finger. Just your finger is a lot grabbier. So the shade can add like a nice little easy shimmer. Oh, I probably. I like how this has done it. But we gotta match the other one. So let's go in with my finger. Pick up a bucket of it. Now that I've got some nice chunks on, I'm just gonna try and blend this on top of the pink. So it's really uneven and it's hard to get a similar effect. Ah, so picking up my finger and then doing a grab, like a dab pull, kind of worked. Oh. I think that's sort of a pretty look, but let me fix up. I'm gonna go fix up under my eyes and we'll come back. So I'm back. I just finished off doing the rest of my face because I pretty much wiped off the entire underneath my eyes to fix that. So let's move back in and I'm gonna go under the eye first. I'm gonna use this little, little tiny fella and this is one of my Jessup brushes and we're gonna put figgy pudding. Let's use the same brush. Same brush going in with. I'm just gonna put a little bit of spiked eggnog on my inner corner, but I filled it up pretty well. Alright, and then I'm just gonna go and mascara and liner. Alright, so this is the fly liner and a caution mascara. I tried with the liner again. I feel like I'm always at risk of ruining the entire look. Uh, let me know what you think of the liner. I think I need to go further up this way, don't I? Well, when you're far away, you can't really tell. It's only when you get up close. <laughs> but this was a pretty look before I kind of did something to it. Anyway, this is the final look for this one. So I, this may be the last look. I'm not sure yet, but I'll tie it up in the post. Anyway, thanks. I'll see you for maybe a wear, for a wear test. Oh, thank you. I'll see you for, what? Oh, and that is all the looks. So that should be five looks for the gingerbread spice palette. I really had a lot of fun playing this palette. I'd love to know what you think of all of them. Which one was your favorite? Which was your least? 
So the Gingerbread's Bass palette, I picked this up in the Mecca pre-release. Something cooled me about this palette. It's just adorable. I don't know, I love it. I'm normally a very colorful wearer, so you'll see, yes, I do heavily use Gumdrop as the pink and Figgy Pudding. But I did, I did make sure to use the browns. I don't mind doing both. So to me, this palette is it's perfect for sort of all occasions. You can pull off a really beautiful, colorful pink look. You can also pull off a really nice neutral look. My two favorite shades in this are gonna be Spice of Life and Hot Toddy. And Hot Toddy is a, is this one here? And that is a pink gold shift, which just isn't picking up on camera. So I recommend swatching it in store if you can. And Spice of Life is a olive shimmer and it's just stunning. I absolutely love the look I did with that one. The shade that gave me the most trouble is Frostbite Me and you would have just watched me struggle with that for like a minute. So it's weird and then when I did ask about this shade in Mecca, the girl said when they dropped this palette that was the only shade that broke. There's nothing on the box to indicate that shade being especially different. It does say that there's 18 multi finish warm and toasty shades. But it's still pretty and you can definitely use it to spice up any kind of look. I think if this color scheme is something that appeals to you, this palette is definitely worth picking up, but you will find that you probably have a lot of the browns. The two shades, so Spice is Nice and Gingerbread, really surprised me in the fact that once blended on the eye, they actually look very similar. This is Spice is Nice and this is Gingerbread. And they do have different undertones, but when, Spice is Nice, Gingerbread, when they're blended out, it, it's pretty similar, really, what look you're getting. But I understand why it's there. One of the shades I don't think I did use is O Burn, and this is a shimmery purple. I mean, it's just pretty boring. <laughs> That's, I, yeah. It, it didn't appeal to me to use it. Um, and yeah, I did initially aim to do 10 looks, one palette with this, but I, I ran out of creativity and drive to do it. And I have plenty more things to play with. I hope you stick around for more videos like this. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much. Mm.